Hello there. Welcome. Welcome so much. Welcome to your week ahead reading. My name is Mo. Welcome to Mo Moon Tarot here on YouTube. I am doing the reading for Monday the 7th of February to Sunday the 13th of February 2022. Today I was drawn by the universe to read with the Tarot of the Sweet Twilight. It is made by Lo Scarabeo. It's a really cool deck. And the backs of the cards look like this. Super excited to read for each of the zodiac signs. So I'll be starting with Aries and finishing with Pisces. I'll be drawing one card for each sign for the current or for the for the week coming, Monday, 7th of February to Sunday, 13th of February 2022. Um this is not a personal reading. Uh, hopefully it will resonate with you. Um, but if it doesn't, it's because I'm doing 12 signs for whoever's watching. But if you do want a personal reading, I have an Etsy shop called Experiential Healing. I'll leave the description in the, I'll leave the link in the description bar, the description box, I should say below, but I'll also have the timestamps below. So if you want to jump ahead to your sign, to find out what your message is for Monday the 7th of February to Sunday the 13th of February 2022. Feel free to do so. All right, so let's start with Aries, shall we? Let's get a card for Aries. All right, Aries, let's get a card for you for the week of Monday the 7th of February to Sunday the 13th of February 2022. Four of Wands for you Aries. The Four of Wands is a card of deep meditation. It's a card that speaks about the sacredness of rest, relaxation, taking time to de-stress, to allow the cares of the day to soak away in a bathtub or to be lost in the arms of a good book or to be drowned away by a good cry or to be removed through a nice shower where you can allow the water to wash away all the negativity that happened during the day or going to an altar space and communing with your ancestors or deities or guides or angels or spirits or universe or your higher self or your ego journaling in a journal how you're feeling what you're feeling when you are feeling it um, how you dealt with it how you are dealing with it or having a good chat with a therapist um, as you see there's a card of it's the four of swords it's hard to see because it's dark in here but uh, it's the Four of Wands, sorry. Interesting, because it, it, it's, when I saw this originally, I was like, okay, Four of Swords, it's, it's about, like, meditation, and yet it's the Four of Wands. However, this Four of Wands, like, when I was talking about a therapist, and we have a, a couch here, and we have an individual, like, sitting down obviously you wouldn't sit on your therapist's lap like that but like maybe even just having a conversation with your significant other you know about the current feelings you're having and it's interesting because you know i said four of swords which in the rider Waite smith tarot deck denotes an individual lying down in a church in meditation it looks like but also rest right and yet it's the four of wands and the four of wands in the right away smith speaks about you know energy moving up 
you know, a clear pathway for energy, a clear pathway to let love in. And I feel like the message is how do you let love into your life this week, Aries? Like, how are you going to remove the blocks of the everyday responsibilities that you have or the everyday, you know, adulting you have to do or, or whatever frustrating situations you have to deal with? The Four of Wands here, speaking about energy and spirit and passion and drive, the Four of Wands being all that moving upward and letting love in and let it, letting love through and just reconnecting with your with your higher self and with your true spirit. But all that takes work. And this week, what you're working on, Aries, is removing the blocks of the difficulties of everyday life in order to reconnect your roots to the earth and let the love come through the divine feminine and move up to the divine masculine and connect you to your higher self, your soul star chakra. The soul star chakra being, you know, above the crown chakra, like in the 5D realm. And maybe it's just about, you know, maybe that's the spiritual way of describing it for you. But Aries, it could be just as simple as, you know, doing something for yourself that allows you to breathe and focus and just let it all out and just let all the stress melt away and just remember who you are and reconnect with your fire with the fire of your energy aries because you're a fire sign and we have the four of wands so it's like reconnecting with your fire and what really gets you going what really makes you passionate so that's what i see for you for this week Monday the 7th of February to Sunday the 13th of February 2022. I hope it was a helpful reading and I'll see you in my next video. Bye Aries. Taurus, hi. Welcome to your week ahead reading for Monday the 7th of February to Sunday the 13th of February 2022. Taurus, how you doing? I want to get a card for you. Message for you. Wow, super sweet. Three of chalices. It's hard to see because it's dark in here. It's a three of cups. Hmm. I feel like this is a good glass of wine at the end of a long day or like putting your feet up and getting a massage or just putting your feet up and leaning back and relaxing into the couch and just like uh, breathing and just enjoying the comforts of your home and what you've worked hard to to achieve. But like you're not even thinking about what you're working, what you worked hard to achieve because all the energy of work is just like like it's just like release and like relax and like. You don't have to think about how hard you've worked because it's time for you to just turn off your brain and like decompose or decompress, <laughs> decompose. Why did I say decompose? It's like when you're, um, you know, putting the vegetables into a compost and they're decomposing and turning into fertile soil. It's like the relaxation time for you is making you feel like you are creating something good out of relaxing and you are because you're recharging your batteries and the three of cups or the three of chalices that we have here is also in the right of weight smith a card of celebration um it's a card of divine feminine because in the three of chalices we see three women holding up chalices and dancing together in a circle um So 
whether you know whatever your gender or whatever you 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 know describe yourself as I feel like the three of chalices are talking about your nature um Taurus because you're ruled by Venus um of love your nature of love and your nature of enjoying a nice get together or enjoying the company of good friends or enjoying the company of um, your significant other or your family members or your sisters or your brothers or people that you connect with and really um, enjoying, you know, being with them, just being in their presence like, you know, you don't really have to say anything. You just feel like you're all, you know, enjoying each other's company and enjoying, um, even if it's, even if it's not three people, like in the three of cups, it's really just the energy of like enjoying a good glass of wine, like I said, or a hot beverage or just, um, Allowing yourself to enjoy the finer things in life. And with the Three of Cups for you this week, Taurus, I feel like it's really important for you to get in that relaxation time. Get in that time where you can kick off your shoes, put your feet up, lie back in a nice lazy boy or in a nice couch and just enjoy the fact that you're human and that you can experience the comforts of relaxation and um, putting your mind at rest and just, you know, maybe falling asleep on the couch in front of the TV or something like that, you know? So keep it in mind that it's okay. It's actually part of life. And I think you know that because you are a Taurus and you are ruled by the planet Venus. So you know how to enjoy the comforts of life. And if you haven't um, learned that about yourself yet, uh, try to take that into consideration this week. Okay, Taurus? I hope that resonated with you and I hope you have a good week. Bye Taurus. Hi Gemini, how are you? Let's get a card for you for a message for Monday the 7th of February to Sunday the 13th of February 2022. What are the cards trying to tell me for you right now? Let's get a card for Gemini. Knave of Wands. Hmm. So the Knave of Wands is your card. Um, for the message for you, Gemini, for this coming week, Monday the 7th of February to Sunday the 13th of February 2022, uh, I'm getting a sense of music. And the Knave of Wands is the Page of Wands. And... I'm getting a strong feel for music. Of course, in this card we have, and we're using this deck for a reason, right? Like the universe guided me to use this deck. And in this deck, the Knave of Wands has a guitar. Of course, there's still the wand there, but I feel Gemini for, the, for this week for you. And maybe it's like this every week for you, but especially this week, it's important for you to have music in your life, whether you're working in an environment which is difficult and you want to have that background um, music or um, that background melody going on so that you can like just feel like at ease or feel like things are flowing smoothly like you know please do that if it's if it's possible in your workplace to like play some music or you know play some some uh, different frequency music like um, like whatever type of music you like to listen to pay attention to how it's making you feel this week Gemini and pay attention to if it's helpful um, also pay attention to 
the energy of like silence, I want to say. Like, um, I heard sound, but like sound and is also like, when I say sound, I could also mean lack of sound, like the sound of silence around you, you know, because sometimes like we have so much coming in, Gemini, and we think it's normal to keep having like all these sensory um, messages coming in, but like sometimes it's important to just turn off the music and turn off all the sensory information and just like pay attention to the sound of the fan going or pay attention to the sound of the diffuser splurting, spurting um, mist into the air or pay attention to the cars outside your building driving by like um, because we have a picture of the page of wand, page of wands with his guitar but like you know when you play a song like let's say you play a song and then you know you you stop playing the song and you like you like just take in like how you're feeling and like how that song made you feel and how you're currently feeling now in the silence and I mean I'm I know what it's like to want to have a song playing at all times or some a YouTube show playing in the background or like you know listening to a message on WhatsApp from your family member like it's always like it always feels like it's necessary to have something going like you know my partner likes to have the TV in the background like but like I think what we're getting at here is like sensory overload like with this with the idea of music there's also the idea of like silence because even in music like you know there's certain like rules about music where like you know there's a crescendo and then they're like the crescendo comes down and there's like less of a sound and it like you know like just like trickles off the sound and like you know the different um like the different factors that make up a song and it's not always like the same pitch the same tune the same everything the same words like everything changes and I think what we're getting at here is like the idea of like sound and lack of sound and silence and lack of silence and like how it's all making you feel and like if it's if you need to play music because you want to feel better please do and if you need to be in silence because you need to listen to your thoughts please do um, but pay, pay attention to the uh, sensory sensory uh, messages that are, that are coming into you this week. Okay, Gemini, that's the message I have for you with this page of wands. I hope it was a helpful message and I will see you in my next video. Have a good week, Gemini. <sighs> Cancer, hello, Cancer. Uh, welcome to your reading for Monday the 7th of February to Sunday the 13th of February 2022. Let's get a, a card for you so we can get a message for you for the week ahead. Okay, Cancer? Card for Cancer. Please. We got two cards for you, Cancer. I think that's it. What? Oh my gosh, this is not making sense to me. We got two cards for you, but I am definitely feeling I don't know, there's a message here because um, the cards were acting strange as I was shuffling them. We have the Knight of Chalices, which for sure is about love. And hmm, this Knight of Chalices is about love being poured out.
maybe walking away from an animal or giving your love to an animal. It's really interesting. You see, I know I picked this deck for a reason. And even though the Knight of Chalices in the traditional Rider Waite Smith is about like a love offer or somebody who is very romantic coming into your life, this one, as you see, is like, it's the Knight of Chalices. I don't know if you can see, cause it's kind of dark in here. It's the Knight of Chalices and there's a picture of a horse and there's a picture of an individual walking away from the horse and pouring out a cup. But also the um, the person walking away still has his hand on the bridle of the horse. So it's like, he's not letting go, but he's like, he's like facing the other way, facing the other direction. And the road that they are both traveling on is also a cup being poured out. And there are two crescent moons facing each other. It's very interesting. It's like seeing uh, an animal in your vision. And when you look at that animal, you feel like your own soul is reflected back at you. And even when you are not with that animal, you still feel a connection to them. And you still feel like you have a lot of love being poured out and love connects you to each other. So that's what I see with this card with um, the Knight of Chalices. And of course it is about love because it is the Knight of Chalices and the Knight of Chalices is about love. But um, this Knight of Chalices, like I said, kind of gives me um, a feeling that it's about an animal or a pet or a significant um, furry friend or um, maybe, um, a spirit animal, like, or some, an animal that passed away that you still remember fondly and that you still acknowledge. And then we also have the five of swords. And this five of swords has crows in it. The five of swords to me talks about like, not letting yourself feel bad about being the victor about being successful like let's say you're having an argument with somebody and like it turns out that your argument you know is seen to be the right argument or like your argument is, is making more sense and it's like instead of you feeling bad about the fact that the argument turned out in your favor and like you were seen as the person who actually made sense and like instead of feeling bad about it or like thinking like about like different ways you could like how like instead of beating yourself up and being like oh how like maybe I shouldn't have said that like maybe maybe I should have just given in in the argument maybe I should have just like said that that person was right maybe you know I feel so bad that like the person feels like they were wrong like instead of like letting yourself with this five of swords your mind being like um you know, caught up with like all these ideas that you, that you wish maybe I was wrong, even though I'm right. Um, letting the argument go. And with the crows, because the crows are, they have an attachment to the individual's head in this picture. The main individual has crows coming out of her head and crows, again, they kind of like, I feel like there's a spirit animal or maybe when you hear a crow like me, Cancer, you kind of like, you, you take it as a sign where you're like, okay, I've been acknowledged. Like, or like the, like the crow, when the crow crows, it's like they speak into your soul, right? So maybe like hearing the, the sound of a crow brings you back to your soul and makes you feel like okay with the fact that you were okay, that you won the argument or that you won the conversation. Like... Or that you were the one that came out on top in in a discussion or like your discussion made more sense or your point of view made more sense like so the crow the energy of the crow brings you back to your soul and brings you back to the fact that it's okay to be right it's okay if you're right and that person's wrong um you know like and 
of course you could say, well, like there's no such thing as right and wrong, but like when you're having an argument and one person is talking more sense than another, sometimes it's like, okay, well, this person makes more sense so that that argument holds more weight than the other person's argument, you know, like, so in reality, like that's what debates are about. Like debates are about like, you know, who can bring up the most um, profound um, argument that holds the most weight, that makes the most sense, that um, makes more sense than somebody else's argument. So like, um, I don't know why those energies are coming up for you this week, Cancer, but maybe it's helpful for you to to know that it's okay to be right uh, in an argument and to win an argument. And it's interesting um, when you think about animals and how you connect to animals this week. So I hope that was a helpful reading for you, Cancer, for the week ahead. Um, I look forward to seeing you in my next video and I wish you a good week. Bye, Cancer. Hi Leo, welcome to your reading for um, Leo for Monday the 7th of February to Sunday the 13th of February 2022. Let's get you a card Leo that will give you uh, a message for the week ahead Leo. Oh, Four of Wands. Uh, Aries had this message as well, Leo. And um, Aries is a fire sign, and Leo, you are a fire sign. So, the Four of Wands. Uh, <sighs> I really don't like that I just got the same card for you, Leo, because I feel like I don't want to reiterate what I said for Aries. But if you want to go watch. Um, I'm going to draw another card for you, Leo, but if you want to go watch Aries reading the Four of Wands is potentially a message for you this week, but let's also get another card for you, Leo, okay? Get a card for you, Leo. Leo. So go check out Aries reading for the week ahead. Could be helpful for you. And, um, it's definitely a message for you as well, Aries. So, um... Uh, Leo, the message, Leo, the message that Aries had with the four of wands is definitely a message for you as well, Leo, for this week. I just don't want to go over the same message again. So I'm going to draw another card for you, Leo, as another message for you this week as well. So you get two messages this week, Leo. We have the king of chalices. So you have the Four of Wands and the King of Chalices. So the Four of Wands is described in the um, link to the reading for Aries, but the King of Chalices is another message for you, Leo. Oh, I love the King of Chalices because the King of Chalices is so emotionally available. Like the King of Chalices for you, Leo, is like your heart is a garden and there are beautiful um, flowers blooming there and anyone is invited to come into this garden and smell the flowers or walk through the flowers and they know to be respectful of the flowers. They know that this is an honor for them to be able to walk through the garden that it is an honor for them to be able to be in this garden that you have created and that there is a reverence there for the garden. And that is just an analogy to me that like the King of Cups for you, Leo, this week is about holding a space for others because you are emotionally available for others. And you are also an emotional, I want to say an emotional sounding board where um, people can explain to you how they're feeling 
and they can see themselves resonated in your eyes. They can see themselves in you and they understand that you understand them and they feel like they are heard and seen and held and respected and honored because they know that you've already been there and you've already done that and you've already seen what they've seen and you've already felt the same feelings. The King of Cups, Cups being the um, energy of emotion, feelings, the realm of the water, the deep, the deep waters of the subconscious, um, the flowing waters, the water, uh, the water of life and light. Um, I'm reading this book, Leo, um, called Azez Medicine, and it's about the beings of the light, uh, namely the, the Azez. And, excuse me, the author is talking about how when water was brought to the earth, by the people, the Azaz people at its creation, um, the water gave life to the earth and allowed life on earth to be possible. And it goes on to talk about how, um, Leo, water cannot be destroyed and it, it just takes a different form, whether it's frozen or condensed or in liquid form or evaporated or in a cloud form or in the earth or in a human's body because we are made up of so much water right and water is what gives us life i had a plant the other day i looked at the plant it was wilted i wondered why it was wilted but i knew that it needed water and at the end of the day after i had given it water in the morning at the end of the day, the plant was strong again and the leaves, instead of being wilted, were perked up. So it's the energy of like, it's not just the energy of like emotion. Okay, emotion. It's like the energy of life because emotions give us life. And the king of cups is somebody who knows that, who's well aware that emotions are necessary, but also aware as the king that emotions don't have to rule you. You rule your emotions. You see your emotions you can understand your emotions. If you want, you can put a label on the emotion and you can see that in others as well, but you also are composed. So keep that in mind this week, Leo. I feel like it's important for you um, with the King of Cups energy um, that we have here. And uh, and also, again, with the Four of Wands, if you want to check that out um, on the Aries um, timestamp. I hope that was a helpful reading for you, Leo, and I will see you on my next video. Have a good week. Bye. Virgo. Hi, Virgo. Welcome to your reading for Monday, the 7th of February to Sunday, the 13th of February, 2022, Virgo. Let's get a card for you that will give you a message for the week ahead. Virgo. Oh, my heart. I'm like, my heart, but I'm holding my neck. Um, <laughs> I don't know what that means, but, um, I guess it was just a mistake that I wanted to say my heart, but I hit my neck. Um, six of chalices. I, I'm being, um, brought to the throat chakra for you, Virgo. I, I'm bring, being brought to the, the throat ch chakra and also thinking about the heart chakra. Because what I see with the six of chalices for you, Virgo, is you want to speak your truth, but you need to pay attention to your heart. Because sometimes your heart brings you to feel things that you can't describe in words. And you can only describe through creation. Um, 
perhaps through creation of the energy between you and an animal, um, having a connection to an animal or having a connection, whether it be to a fish, like we have fish as our pets, like I connect with my fish, we have three fish, and even though they're, they're just fish, like I feel a connection to them. And the six of chalices here for you is like, you know, sometimes you, you think, oh, I need to talk about this, but like, maybe you just need to look around in your surroundings and pay attention to your plants or pay attention to your fish or your dog or your cat or your hamster or whatever sort of life force that you have closest to you. So if that means you have to go out into nature and listen to the birds singing, like just reconnecting to beings of this earth that aren't human like in this six of childs it's like i feel like virgo your inner child is longing for that connection to creation like you want to speak about it you think you need to talk to somebody about it but if you don't have that those words to speak just connecting to nature around you virgo like Virgo, you're an earth sign, so you might already know what I'm talking about with the six of chalices, because the six of chalices in the traditional Rider Waite Smith tarot deck has um, two children um, in a garden together with flower um, cups of flowers, and so with the six of chalices, we see like a bear. It's hard to see, but it's the six of chalices because it's dark in here. Um, we, we see the cups here and we see a bear and a, a little, a, a child or a, a small person. And I just feel like it's really important for you this week to reconnect to your inner child. And if that be, uh, sitting down with the journal and not speaking about it so much as writing about it like I don't know if you've ever heard of automatic writing but like you could write about it uh, talk to your inner child or speak about it in writing as if you were your inner child like and you are if you if you want to connect to your inner child Virgo just allow him or her to speak for you and if it comes it, it, it might come out better in writing than speaking because if you're trying to speak like you're in a child, you're going to hear your adult voice and it's going to be hard for you. But if you um, write it out, it's a lot easier and just write what your heart is telling you to write and connect with your furry friends or your, or your animals or your plants and know that they are alive and that they are supporting you. So that's the message I have for you, Virgo, for this week with the Six of Chalices. I hope it was a helpful reading and I will see you in my next video. Have a good week. Bye Virgo. Hi Libra. Welcome to your week ahead of reading. This is your reading Libra for Monday the 7th of February to Sunday the 13th of February 2022. Let's get a card for you Libra. That symbolizes a message for you for this week. I don't know if I'm trying to see if one came out, but I don't see that they any did. All right, Libra. I love it for you, Libra. This is so good. In this deck, card number 11 is strength. So we have strength for you. Libra. I feel like this card 
for a message for you, Libra, for um, the week ahead is, is talking about how with your um, pets or um, with the universe around you in nature, like through the birds or the squirrels or you know the butterflies if you're in a in the southern hemisphere like you feel like you can take off your your adult mask with these um, creatures and you feel like these creatures see you for who you really are um, i know what that's like libra because when i was a child i used to um walk down the sidewalk and I used to pick up squashed caterpillars from the sidewalk and I would take off their squashed bodies and put them in the grass. Um, I guess I was giving them a proper burial. Um, and I felt like I had a connection to them. And the only time, like a couple, like I also used to talk to the ants when I was a, a young maybe like 12 or 13 like I would go outside um in our front in our like in our driveway like front lawn area and I I knew there was like an ant hill around there because the ants were always working diligently you know, I think maybe in the summertime or something when they're the working their hardest and I would just like sit next to their ant hill and I'd be like I would just feel like I was talking to them and they were comforting me and like sometimes like like one time I was in Colorado and like I was walking through the mountains and a bird came and I knew it was a sign that like God was paying attention to me and like all these kind of things where like you feel like when you're in nature you can take off your mask like in this and you feel like you're your strongest when you have taken off that mask and you feel like you're your strongest at that point and I think there's like a little Yoda at the bottom of this card here like a Yoda um there is no try only do and I feel like what that's saying for you Libra especially as a message for you for the 7th of February to the 13th of February try to be like that with people try it's hard because like it's so easy to feel like you're being judged for who you are but like try to put and it's it's just it's like a message to me as well or it's like try to put yourself in a position where you take that mask off in front of people maybe people that you feel vulnerable in front of and it's not easy I know um but this is card is saying there is no try only do and it's a message that like it's not something that you're being encouraged to try it's being it's a message that you're being encouraged to do this because it's going to bring you to a greater self-realization and it's also you demonstrating your inner strength to the world and leading the way with your strength of character to show other people how to take off their masks as well. So that's card number 11, strength. And that's your message, Libra, for this week. I hope it was a helpful one. I'll see you in my next reading. I hope you have a good week. Bye, Libra. Scorpio. I love reading for Scorpio. I had a spirit guide who was a Scorpio and I was always curious to see where he was at. So Scorpio, we're going to get a, a card for you for a message for the week of se the 7th of February 
to the 13th of February, 2022. We got three cards, Scorpio. So we're going to do one message at a time here. You have the Seven of Swords. This is, could be a while, Scorpio. Who knows? But the Seven of Swords. Let's take it one card at a time here. We have three cards for you. We're going to start with the Seven of Swords, Scorpio. I don't want to get overwhelmed with the messages. So, hmm. This card is talking about extraterrestrial activity. Wow, there's so much energy here. It's overwhelming. Hmm. But it's like full of light. And life and love and energy of water. I was talking about this earlier, like the energy of water, according to this book called Azaz Medicine Scorpio is never destroyed it's just turned into a different form and life on earth is thanks to uh, one of the most important elements which is water so i'm being called to tell you that it's really important for you scorpio if you want to be connected to life to drink more water it seems strange that the seven of swords would say that because the Seven of Swords doesn't usually talk about that, but we're using this deck, and this deck, in this, this deck, the Seven of Swords is bringing this message for you, Scorpio, for this week through this card. Um, okay, that's one message, Scorpio. The other one is card number six, the Lovers. The Lovers is a major arcana card for you, Scorpio. So. This one, oh, I've just been learning about the lovers and it's really talking about making a decision to accept sexual passion into your life in order to allow you to reach a new level, a new level to see in the lover's card in the Rider Waite Smith tarot deck, there's two individuals standing with an angel in between them and it's about connecting making a choice to connect with somebody so that you can transcend into another place like you know when you connect scorpio with somebody so much that like you feel like your souls have like connected and you feel like your souls like you would not be able to reach this level of connection if you were by yourself you know like like a sexual union where like it's an experience if you've never had a sexual union this card is encouraging you to um, allow yourself, if you need to, to move in that space of discovering your um, your sexual nature. Like this is what the six of the lovers, the six here um, in the major arcana is talking about. Like, as you see, they're on like a piece of earth that's like in the sky with the clouds and there's flowers floating all around them. So it's like um, allowing yourself to discover a new sense, a new dimension through a love encounter this week. And the last card we have for you, Scorpio, is the Hierophant. Wow, big messages for you. We have the, the five of the Major Arcana, the Hierophant. And this card, um, it's so beautiful. Wow. Um, so this card's talking about like... Um, making your connection between allowing like you know this card the lovers was talking about allowing yourself to reach a new level through a connection with another person sexually or in a passionate relationship um where you explore your passions with another individual and scorpio this card the hierophant is talking about you discovering another level through your own connection so developing your inner self as well you know because sometimes i'm um, scorpio when we get caught up in a relationship with a lover, we forget about our own identity. And this Hierophant card is saying, don't forget about your own identity and don't forget about your inner child. Like don't, don't allow, like don't allow your inner child to hide from you. Um, reconnect with your inner child, reconnect with what makes you feel like you're having fun, 
reconnect with my, what makes you feel like you're playing, what makes you feel like you're having a good time in life. The Hierophant is that connection between the universe, God, spirit, source, your ego, uh, your super ego, or your higher self, like whatever you believe in that helps you transcend, whether it be a god or a goddess or your higher self, just coming from your own en entity, like connecting to that and bringing it down into the earthly plane through your body as a channel and allowing yourself to connect with other people through your own connection. So it's like not losing yourself in another person, even though that's possible with the lover's card, um, but also finding yourself through your own connections and through your connections with the community around you. So those are your messages, Scorpio, for this week. I hope it was helpful. Thank you for letting me read for you. Have a good week and I'll see you in my next video. Bye, Scorpio. Sagittarius welcome welcome to your reading for the 7th of February Monday the 7th of February to Sunday the 13th of February 2022 Sagittarius you have the lovers the lovers um Scorpio had the lovers actually, but Scorpio had a couple other cards as well. Uh, I'm definitely going to relay this message for you, Sagittarius, because this is your only card for this week. So this is an important message for you. Um, the message for you with the lovers is to allow yourself to connect with somebody that you feel passionate about, to share your heart with that person, to really allow yourself to connect on a deep level um, physically with that person to make the choice to choose love to choose even if it goes against what your parents have told you to choose your heart to choose where your heart is calling you and never be never regret the choices you make in love because even if you hurt because of a loving relationship Sagittarius you will grow and develop and learn so much about yourself through the energy of the lovers. It's card six of the major arcana. It's hard to see because it's dark, but it says the lovers here. The lovers. So um, it's also about transcending to a new level. In this card, we have two individuals kissing. One of them is completely naked. Um, the other is half naked and they're on a, a piece of land that is floating in the sky as we see clouds and flowers floating around them. So the lovers um, Sagittarius is, um, yeah, card number six of the major arcana. Sagittarius is a fire sign. So I know you're a very passionate and individuals and I'm sure you make great lovers because you're very passionate and sexual and driven and fiery and energetic. Um, so allow yourself to express that passion, to express that fire. Never feel um, guilty for expressing that. Never feel ashamed um, because you don't deserve to feel that way. It's okay to express your sexual desires. It's okay to um, express your sexual desires through your body. There's nothing shameful about your body. There's nothing wrong about your body. There's nothing wrong with sharing your body with another person. I know a lot of the patriarchal um, faiths talk about like saving yourself for marriage or, you know, um, you know, they, they show like even, even like pornography where like, it's all it's all a show like to make money like which you know some people need, need to make money so that's okay for them if that's their lifestyle and if that's what they want to do um that's their choice and the lovers can embody that choice as well that lover the lover's card is basically a choice to break off from your mother and father 
and connect with another individual um, through the energy of love in order to transcend and reach a new level. Um, you know, pillow talk or like the way you feel after you make love with somebody and then you just lie there next to them cuddling them, you know, and you just enjoy the moment of like ecstasy of like having had an orgasm or like just feeling like at peace or like the energy in your body has been released. Like the lover's card is all about that. The lover's card is like, you know, um, embracing your sexuality, embracing your lover, embracing your, your, your sexual urges, your, your sexual drive. Um, you know, and don't be ashamed of it. Like some, like even now I'm thinking, oh, I shouldn't, I shouldn't be talking about this. You know, it's like, it's so TMI too much information, but like, we all do it. We all experience it. And if we haven't, like, it's a part of us that we will experience and that we will um, discover is, you know, a wonderful part. It's a wonderful um, thing to express, especially with somebody that you can trust and you can have a good conversation with about um, anything. Like, you know, because, you know, there's a reason why in the, in the Abrahamic faiths, you know, sexuality is only meant to be experienced after marriage is because it can definitely draw two people closer together and, you know, make them trust each other more and make them feel closer. So the lover's card is inviting you to do all that this week, Sagittarius, to just allow yourself to be you and to express yourself um, through any passion that you experience in your physical self. So that's your, um, that's your message for this week, Sagittarius. I hope it was helpful and I will see you in my next reading. Have a good week. Bye, Sagittarius. Capricorn, a card just fell out for you. And it is the Four of Swords. So this is your reading for Monday the 7th of February to Sunday the 13th of February 2022. I feel like the universe um, really wants to express an important message for you with the Four of Swords. And it feels like the energy of vacation. Well, this is the Four of Swords. Capricorn, Earth sign. Talking to your pets. Remember when you climbed trees, Capricorn? Do you remember when you used to climb a tr trees or you used to, you, you would climb a tree and you'd just be like swinging off its like limbs and just enjoying. I know my, my parents have a picture of like a few of, like me and a few of my siblings like standing, like standing up in the tree, like hanging in the tree and just like being kids. I feel like this Four of Swords is talking to you about like maybe, um taking a day off work or um, planning a vacation or going to a Caribbean island. I know it's hard with COVID, but like some people are still traveling. Um, or just like taking time to talk to your animals and feeling a sense of peace, feeling a sense of relaxation, allowing yourself to enjoy the times in life where you can just feel at peace, where the waters are smooth, it's like smooth sailing, like we're playing in a tree house. I don't, I don't know if you ever had a tree house when you were a kid. My, my dad made us a, like a very primitive tree house, but it was still a lot of fun and it was nice of him to make it for us. But that's the, those are the vibes I'm getting with this Four of Swords energy. Capricorn, of course the swords, are about um, your mind as well because the swords are the energy of air and air uh, the energy of the swords um, is about air it's about the mind it's about thoughts it's about ideas it's about conversations but like 
it's it's intellectual you know it's like maybe having a good conversation with your pets and like um you know because pets are really intelligent and the more you talk to them the more intelligent they become um and you know yeah the four of swords is like about it's also about like quieting your mind and allowing yourself to like um go into meditation or listen to some good mantras or maybe speaking some mantras or speaking some words of affirmation out loud to yourself and finding the energy of peace within you and um, creating that environment of peace around you that's the message i have for you capricorn with the four of swords for this week um, it's a short message but hopefully um, it'll be an encouraging um, an encouraging um, activity for you to take part in this week okay i will see you in my next video have a great week capricorn bye Aquarius, welcome to your reading for Monday the 7th of February to Sunday the 13th of February 2022 Aquarius. Let's get a card that will give you your message to be uh, helpful for this week for you. Aquarius. Six of Swords, Aquarius. Huh. I'm just um, trying to read the energy here because um, I was feeling like an energy as I was shuffling the cards of like anger. I want to say malice, but like, I'm not really sure if I know what malice means. Like, I, I feel like it's a, a big word, but I feel like you're trusting, um, you're trusting Aquarius this week. Um, you're trusting that like this card, we have an angel being carried. So it's a six here. It's hard to see cause it's dark, but it's a six of swords. It says swords here. And there is um, five swords back here. One, two, three, four, five. But I don't know where the sixth sword is. I was looking for the sixth sword. It's, I don't see it, but it's the six of swords. So it's very interesting. Huh. Um, I feel like this angel is being carried. Um, it's a message about temperance. The angel and the temperance card, that's why I'm saying it, because there's an angel in the temperance card, and I feel like this card is talking about patience, Aquarius, for you, because the angel is blindfolded and she's being carried by a skull, the skull man in a suit, and another like hobo man. So I feel like um, your mind is being stretched this week, Aquarius because you're going through a transition period with the skull man, with the idea of the death card um, from the major arcana, you're going through a transition now and the hobo man in the background here at the back, this kind of hobo man 
kind of reminds me of like your past, maybe Aquarius, where it's like in the past, maybe in a past life or, um, you know, you had to beg for money or ask for money or, but now you're at a point where like, you're like this angel where, um, you're very patient, like the temperance energy in the major arcana. Um, and you can't necessarily see where you're going this week, Aquarius, um, but you're in a period of transition um, and it's it's involving your mind and maybe not seeing all, like all the plans are, they're not all clear before you in your mind, but you know that you can trust the energies that are bringing you to your destination and you can continue to embrace your innocence because it's an angel here there's like an energy of purity um, within you aquarius um, that cannot be matched um, there's an energy like angels are like helping beings of light um, aquarius like i i know like a lot of people have um, alien ancestry of course um, extraterrestrials are just any body that is outside of the 3D realm. But like a connection to the light for you, Aquarius. A connection of like knowing that you you are good. At, at the core of things, you have this innate goodness about you. This angelic goodness. Um, sorry, this angelic goodness um, that is carrying you to your destination. And you know that you can trust your future and you can trust your past because you are being led in your truth to where you need to go. So that is your message Aquarius for the week ahead. I hope it was helpful. Um, have a good week and I'll see you in my next video. Thanks Aquarius. Hi Pisces, welcome to your reading for the week of, of Monday the 7th of February to Sunday the 13th of February 2022. My phone is about to die, but let's get a card for you and hopefully the message will come out within the due time. Oh, interesting. Okay. All right, um, we have the Knight of Chalices, and it was in reverse. And we have the Seven of Swords, right side up. So it's interesting because we got two of these cards for Scorpio. Or I, I got these two cards for during the, the earlier readings. Um, but I want to spend time going over these cards for you. Because I know there's an important message for you here, Pisces. So you have the Knight of Chalices. Let's talk about the Knight of Chalices for you first, Pisces. So the Knight of Chalices is the Knight of Cups and the Knight of Cups does talk about love because the Knight of Cups is an energy of bringing the love in, somebody who's bringing the love into you. Um, it also has something to do with an animal because of course in this Knight of Chalices there's an animal connected to the individual with the cup and there's a cup being poured out that is causing them to have a stable foundation. So it's about connecting to your animal or your um, spirit guide animal um, or your totem animal like the animal that gives you strength I know for me um, I used to connect with ants I used to connect with caterpillars um, I often um, see crows as a sign so it's really important for you Pisces this week to pay attention to the signs through the animals around you like how they're acting around you how they're responding to you, how they're being drawn to you, how they're asking you to pet them or pay attention to them, or if they bark at you, like really allow yourself to read into the messages that the animals are giving you and don't feel crazy for doing it. 
and you have the seven of swords um pisces i feel like the seven of swords for you with this card because it's not the traditional rider weight smith tarot deck and i picked this deck for a reason and i'm going to read the cards the way they're coming across even if it's not the traditional tarot meaning from the rider weight smith tarot deck because every deck has different meanings if you use different decks so um this card for you is talking about extraterrestrial activity like extraterrestrials can basically be mean any kind of energy that is outside of the 3d realm so it could be like spirit guides spirits angels um ancestors uh gods goddesses i i feel like you're being told to connect to your inner um goddess or your inner god your your inner truth like and if you can connect to the the divine being within you like within your heart um because we all have like we all have divinity within us and whether or not you believe that like it's really important that you connect to your divinity because you need to know that you are valuable and you have like sacred um energy within you like you you have energy within you that is connected to a greater energy, a greater source. You are a part of that source, Pisces, and connecting to that energy will bring out uh, life within you that you didn't know existed. And maybe even a connection to the beings of light, the Azes, the Arcturians, um, the Palladians, the Lemurians, like maybe um like maybe you've had a, like an alien encounter before you've connected with like some sort of light source pay attention to that you had the knight of chalices which is saying to you to pay attention to animal messages but you also have the seven of swords which is telling you to pay attention to light messages so light can come in through your window if you feel like um if you feel a ray of light coming through your window like ask yourself like why is what does this light mean to me like or if you if you, it's a really sunny day where you live like what is this what, what is the message the sun is bringing me about my about life about light about the energy of light about the energy of fire about the stars in the sky like if you're looking at the moon and the moon is shining back at you like what is the moon saying to you and it may seem like strange like very woo woo to connect to these kinds of things to animals to light to but when you connect to these things, you're connecting to your human humanity. You're connecting to the part of you that is connected to the earth. And when you connect to the part of you that is connected to the earth, Pisces, you are able to ground yourself and better function in this world because you are connected to the world. You're connected to the energy of the world. And you can make things come to pass in your life that you wouldn't be able to bring into your reality without connecting to divinity within you animals around you light sources like everything all the um all the things that you're sensitive to like connecting to them and 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 being a part of them and realizing that you are part of them and they are part of you and you're part of a greater um purpose uh energy like light i know i talk about your purpose a lot pisces but i feel it's because you do have an important purpose in this world so it's a very intense um, message, but I hope it's okay. I'll talk to you soon, Pisces. Bye.